In the last video, I made some jambalaya, so now Josh and I will enjoy a plate while talking about random things. Welcome to the Bear Pantry Show. If you're looking for authentic Belizean recipes, then you're in the right place. My name is Barbara, and this is Cooking Made Simple. All right, guys, so we're going to dive into this jambalaya. Josh, I want to got chopsticks. I don't know how well it's going to work with this. Because the, the rice, rice is not sticky. Exactly. So we decided to do a mukbang today because we haven't done one in a, in a little while, right? Joe decides that he's going to fall asleep on the couch. I'm like, oh, well, I guess I can't do my mukbang. He's gone. <laughs> but then Joe's like, tell him to go to his bed. I was like, oh. It's so simple. I didn't think of that. Listen. So Jada wanted this. Jada's on her new job, which she loves, by the way. And she wanted, jam well, I, I kind of planned like, to surprise her with it. Am I putting the stuff on the side of the plate for? We don't have nothing else to serve on this plate. It's, just it's not like we have meat. <laughs> well, Joe made us two chicken, so we do have meat if we need extra meat. Right, Josh? Mm -hmm. You want more, Papa? Oh, let's start with this. We're doing this mukbang at an hour where Joshua doesn't eat, but he's not full. But he's just like trained. He's, he, Joshua's very OCD in his stuff. And I know it's not true OCD. You got something on the other, Papa? Something, one of the pepper. Okay, I... It's not true OCD because true OCD, I think, is like more intense than yeah. what Joshua likes. Like, I don't have to do it, but I like to have... Joshua my... likes to eat at five. Yes. And I eat at five. A lot of people do that, though. They have a set concrete time that they eat dinner. Okay, you're going to have to wipe your mouth because there's something... I think it's the pepper. You got it? All right, guys. So, let's mm. see what's been going on in the fam bam. So, seriously, Josh, what are you doing? I'm checking on the camera. It's still on your lip. <laughs> It might be chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's a piece of this red pepper. Get the paper. You didn't use paper yet, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Looks like it's gone. <sighs> yeah, we're we going to look out for each other. <laughs> so, um, I think I seriously lost my mojo this week that just ended. Mm -hmm. mm. The week of the ending of August. I lost my mojo. You lost your mojo, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> It's so like Austin Paul. How's it working with the chopsticks? Mmm. The rice needs to be sticky. Mm-hmm. But it's doable, but it's gonna get tedious after a while. I'll probably switch to a fork. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I got sick. I got some kind of tonsil itis. What does itis really mean? Inflammation. Yeah. I feel like everything that is wrong with us nowadays is inflammation. You know? So it got me, you know, feeling kind of physically tired, weak, stuff like that. Okay, what's that? Was that an earthquake? Was it a plane? Helicopter. Helicopter? Okay, helicopter. <laughs> I felt like it was on top of my house. I know. Mm hmm So, um, I got better. My swollen tonsils went down. My ears stopped hurting. You want to tell me? I need to go get my flu shot. I know a lot of people are against the flu shot. I'm coming too. But child, when you ain't get the flu, and everybody else have it, you feel good. Yep, I got it last time, no flu. I'm happy. Mm-hmm. A lot of daddy didn't take it the last time, and he got the flu like two months ago. And he's like, no, give me no, give me. <laughs> and you get a little thing. You get a little little doodad mm -hmm. when you get when you touch flu shot. Mm. Oh. The sausage is so good. I know. And we should. Mm -hmm. We should use all four. I just bit into it, Joshua, and it was like heaven. It was worth the five dollars. <laughs> It's so We used two dollars and fifty cents worth. We had to go to a special store for it. Mm -hmm. We don't have it at our local supermarket. Food for this, we had to go to Stater Brothers. We don't go to Stater Brothers. We don't go to Stater Brothers. Mm -hmm. No, they had expensive peppers. Let me tell you how expensive Stater Brothers is. Unless you're getting something on sale, of course. Yeah. They still have people that they pay to bag your groceries for you. Da Our regular groceries store food for this. You bag your own groceries. Yep. Which is what I love. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to put the ice cream in with something hot. Right. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Or put something hard on top of something soft. Mm hmm. Put a melon on top of your bread. Or your eggs. <laughs> or your eggs. <laughs> this is so good. <clears throat> oh, jambalaya is great. You know what? Let's move this out the way. I keep forgetting that I have to move these things out the way. You guys don't see my plate. Why didn't you tell me? Y'all should have told me. You guys are in this and with I us. And I told Joshua. We have to start moving the stuff out the way because people can't see what I'm eating. Anywho, you notice we have paper? Yeah, we, <laughs> we moved. 
We have servets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The production value went way up on this one. Mm -hmm. I brought a knife too. No, oh, for what? Mm -hmm. I feel like knife fuck, you know? I don't think I even know how to do that. <laughs> it just seems like more work. <laughs> My mom would have never did it. Hmm? <laughs> My mom would have went on a spoon. Yeah, so I kind of lost my mojo because I was physically ill. And I try not to make decisions when I'm tired. Because you don't make any good decisions. When I say um, tired eyes don't see a bright future. It sucks to draw when you're mentally tired too. Like I thought, I, it's hard to come up with ideas and stuff mm -hmm. when you're mentally tired. Like I got nothing. So, I cooked a couple of times this week that just anybody, I made soups. Yeah. All I wanted was soups. And I don't like soup unless it's broccoli cheese, tomato, or um, what's the other one with all the tomato stuff Tomato basil? It? Yeah, tomato, but what's the one that has all the stuff in it? Jump, um, uh, well you mess with me. I want to say jambalaya because we're eating jambalaya, it's but not, it's not that. It's not, um. I'll think of it. Guys, help us, help us. Mm. If we could do this live, we could have a Gumbo. Chat, so Gumbo, yes, thank you. Gumbo. We can do a live one. Uh, but how do we do it? That's the hard phone. Okay. We'll do a live one one of these days. Don't mm -hmm. hold us to it. Mm hmm So, anywho. I didn't make any rash decisions. But I was like, oh. So, last week I only put up like three videos. I was just like, I have videos recorded. I couldn't even edit them. I was like so out of it. And the Saturday, was it the Saturday we took Jada to the, to the restaurant? Right? Yeah, we go on Saturday as mm -hmm. well. Well, we took her Saturday the 24th, right? And then Sunday the 25th at the beach. And that's the day her life changed. Somebody came over there looking for talent. And yep. she's working and, for this and people amazing, were saying amazing that they person. Don't, people were yeah, saying people they, don't, told them, they don't do this don't anymore. Don't go to the beach and look for talent. They don't have talent at the beach anymore, which is kind of true. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. they're not wrong, but... They have a guy... It's a diamond in a rough like Joshua, Jada, huh? They have a guy that wears... Um, a Trump mask. Oh boy. And he's singing like mariachi music. Oh boy. And he's playing a guitar, but get this. He's yeah. not really playing and he's not really singing. Do people tip him? Yeah. I'm like, why? Oh my god, it's like what's, those... what's his story? I mean, I don't understand this. It's like those people on YouTube who just um have the computer read uh stories and they don't even do it themselves. I was trying to do that, but I'm gonna do my art and do it the right way. Mm-hmm. There you go. So the um The people, the guy came with his team. They found Jada. Jada's been working. Wait, let's go back week. to this guy with the mask. He just he doesn't do anything. Mm -hmm. That's what the, we, we met a Belize guy yesterday at the beach, and the guy was like, "That guy, I was gonna say, make, makes me peeled." <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So Jada's happy in this job. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know where it's gonna lead. Many, many years is what I'm saying. But we're speaking positivity. So let's go back to the stuff about the restaurant. So yes. we went there. She did well. They loved her. And then she was supposed to go back Saturday. And she got all dolled up and went to the beach first. She was going to sing at the beach from like 10, 30 to 3. Which is kind and then go over there from 5 to 8. She got burnt really bad. She got burnt to a crisp out there yesterday. <laughs> but then when we got there, her contact person, who's a really, really sweet guy. I really like him. Contacted yeah. her and said that the owner's having issues with permits for Saturday's live performances, so they have to work that out, which will take a couple of weeks, but in the meanwhile, you can come Wednesdays. Well, Jada thought about it. She doesn't want to go a different day because it's a long drive. It's a good 70-mile one-way drive, and you're, you're not guaranteed, you're exactly, you're not guaranteed to make the kind of tips that you would make like on the weekend, mm -hmm. and when one family comes into that place, they don't never leave. They sit there and they eat pizza after pizza because it's artists and stuff, I don't right? know where they even get the money to order all these expensive pizzas. A mm -hmm. $5 pizza, a Little Caesars is like, we got to calculate this. We'll dismiss with any bills. Mm -hmm. We'll dismiss anything of these $5. Or like, yeah, $17 pizza, $17 pizza, $17 pizza. pizza. Oh, I want some of the sides. Bring me a, and bring me a drink. And, and wine, yes. Mm -hmm. Watch these two dudes just chilling in the corner, just ordering and ordering. They even finished everything. They just kept ordering. Mm -hmm. Crazy. I'm over here doing... We were trying to do math to figure out how to get the seventeen dollar pizza and not break the bank. <laughs> Those yeah. people are called hipsters. <laughs> mm-hmm. So um, I don't want to speak too fast, but I think they might have lost Jada because they lost me. Not me. By the time they come back around and say, "Okay, Saturdays are available," 
Jada started working with this guy because when I went with Jada the Wednesday, mm -hmm. and the guy was like, "How many days can you work? I need you this day, this day, this day." And Jada goes, "I can't work Tuesday and Thursday because I got school. I can't work Saturday Saturday because I have Medici's. But I can come and come early and work till like three, you know, and then leave to go to Medici's." And I saw Jada had a look kind of like, "Man, I'm appreciative of this Medici thing, but." Gonna this thing really might, rough. yeah, it might really affect me from working with this guy that I really want to work with, and so I think God took it took it out of the way, you know. I think God closed that. Sometimes God closes a door for a reason, hmm. you know. I believe God put the Medici thing in our path mm -hmm. to get us to this what she loves to do, because mm -hmm. it He didn't step in. All none of this would have fell into place, right? Mm. If we didn't go to Medici's on the 24th, which was a Saturday, we would have gone just to the beach that Saturday because Jada wanted to go on Saturday and not gone back Sunday. Right. And, you and it was the Sunday, Sunday we met the guy. Okay. I mean, so. they're still pinching themselves like, we can't believe we met you. And Jada's like, I can't believe, believe, you. I can't believe you guys met me yeah. either. <laughs> it's an amazing experience and I hope it lasts a long time. Like Joshua said, forever and ever and ever for Jada. They love her, mm -hmm. but I'm not surprised about that. Jada is terrifyingly charismatic. Like she can, she could charm a whole army and have a whole team of uh, people and to not, fight for her. Not the good. I mean, not the bad charismatic. Because mm -hmm. I think charismatic was supposed to be a positive word, but along the way, well, my mind means positive. It became word. It be, when you hear that a preacher is charismatic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. It's like okay. That's true. When I think charismatic, I think of people like Jada who are not mm -hmm. awful. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I'm trying to change my business model. I'm so glad that Jada's leveling up, but now i got to work on me because you know me and Joy, Jada's managers. And so we worked on her, and we got her to a point where she's like kind of steady right now. And so um, we got to work on my stuff, Facebook and YouTube, not cutting it. So I'm going to add something else to my business model. And mm. I want to say what it is yet because I'm still learning how to do it. It's Some so hard. got me heated. <laughs> It's not hot. It's not undoing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I put the cumin in the thing, I'm like, oh God, I smell the beach. <laughs> Those homeless people at the beach, they smell like cumin. Oh, mom. Mm -hmm. And cumin is supposed, cumin tastes so good, but smells so bad. Yeah, it's crazy how stuff's like that. Some mm -hmm. Sometimes you get something like, that's it's not like fantastic. It's like garlic for me. I can't awful. stand the smell of garlic, but I like the taste of garlic. Yeah. Mm, weird. I'm worried with coconut. I like coconut straight up, but I hate it in anything else. Mm -hmm. Like I'll, I'll, I'll destroy it. You that way with raisins too. Yeah, I like only thing I like raisins in is uh, raisin bran. That's it. Only time I like it is that cereal because the cereal is dull, mm -hmm. and you get a nice little kick with the raisins, so it's a nice little back and forth, you know. I like it in oatmeal. I'm not a fan of oatmeal. I don't like they mushy kind of things. swell. They kind of swell up after you drop them in there when the oatmeal hot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is really good. I'm really enjoying this. I'm not the biggest fan of mushy things. Mm hmm. Unless it's like that uh, Tres Leches cake. Mm. That, ooh. Mm. Ooh, but you can feel it. You can feel your body getting the weight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's so good. Mm. When I took the bagels for the pomme The bagels. The, the, the one sister and I ordered the bagels, but she didn't come, but she said, I give it to the other one. Mm -hmm. She sent out her little worker <laughs> to go buy cream cheese. Mm. And she's like, you hey. want some cream cheese? I'm like, I wish. Mm. I love cream cheese, but that stuff hurts my belly. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I never had cream cheese until Jada popped up one day. Like, what's some cream cheese on the bag? I was like, all right. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. You know, we've really made friends with a bunch of people at the beach now. It's like a little family down there. I'm going to miss them when the weather gets too cold to go back. You know? Jada's um, number one fan, Mike, was there when the man found her. And he goes, oh, my God. Mm. Is this really happening? My baby girl's not going to be back here soon. I got to come see her. <laughs> She'll be back. Once she's huge and fills up the beach and we get in trouble because the place mm. like it's too filled to capacity, you gotta get out of here. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm -mm. So, where are we in this business model now, Josh? Uh, still trying to build Because I think I'm gonna name this um, video, I Lost My Mojo. So I did lose my mojo, guys. I'm still a little bit tired even now, but I'm I'm barely getting better. Well, it was barely yesterday that my tonsils stopped hurting. We were uh -huh. all starting to get hit by the sickness because yesterday, I sat on the couch because I was just so tired. Usually, usually when I get a little tired in a day, I can, you know, shrug it off. Do and some jumping jacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't happening. I just kept going down. Woke up and just kept going. And now today, going mm -hmm. today Jory was caught sleeping. And Jory never sleeps in the day. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's just because it's so darn hot. Maybe it's that. humid right now. 
I think we were, our, me and Joy were trying to get sick, and our body was like, we need, mm-hmm. you, to, we need you to stop moving so we can, you know, heal you up. Mm-hmm. And as we're recording this, this is September 1st, by the way, when we record this. So I think you guys will see this. Like the 4th? Maybe on Wednesday? Third. Second, third, fourth. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Mm-hmm. But as we're doing this, a big bad hurricane is trying to hit a whole bunch of places. I think the Bahamas, Florida, Dorian. Hmm. I don't like to talk current events in my mukbangs because I have a pizza mukbang that I haven't put up yet. Still haven't put that up. <laughs> oh my god! Weeks. Oh my god! <laughs> It's like uploading episode 20 when we still got to watch episode 1, Ma. Mm-hmm. But what happened was I was getting hey. Jada's videos caught up to date. What, what mm-hmm. do you think is more scary? Um, mm-hmm. Like, uh, like a, the, the tornado or whatever. But what is, what is it? What do you call it? Uh, the one that does that? Hurricane. Hurricane. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. I know they're different, right? Hur- hurricane, mm-hmm. tornado. Okay. What do you think is scarier? Hurricane? 16 minutes. Mm-hmm. Or a um, or the or terrifyingly powerful or- earthquake? I think they're all equally bad, but personally... I am afraid of hurricanes because I grew up in Belize mm. where it seems like every year you got to button down the hatches from some hurricane and then you got what they do in Belize I think they still do it mm. all the churches get together and all the members of the churches they march through the town and they pray the hurricane away and I swear that thing works <laughs> the hurricane yeah. will sideswipe and go yeah. elsewhere <laughs> it's like, oh, that praying. next country though that next country that didn't pray they get it <laughs> Believe I'm playing. Mm-hmm. Oh man. I guess I've never experienced a hurricane firsthand, so I don't I experienced maybe some mini ones when I was little. Yeah. But Greta. Mm. In the early nineteen maybe nineteen seventy eight, seventy nine, eighty, because mm. I came to America late eighty one. And that was scary. Hmm. All I remember my mom made a whole bunch of Johnny Cake and a whole bunch of powder bun. So every time I'm gonna any disaster come in, powder bun and Johnny Cake. That's what I'll be making. Did you do a Johnny Cake video? Mm-hmm. Oh. I made I made some Johnny Cakes for Jada to take on the job today and she flowed her hair so quickly that she forgot it. If you if you got time no screw it, even if you don't have time, look for the Johnny Cake video, make yourself some Johnny Cake. They're they're great with anything and they're great to just eat straight up with some butter. Mm-hmm. They're amazing. Mm-hmm. They're, their taste is ah, oh, it's like the perfect kind of like oh I'm gonna make a breakfast sandwich. I want mm-hmm. something to dip in um the gravy from the chicken. It, it's a, it's such a versatile food. Try to make that. It's 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 simple enough, right? Auntie Tracy does a lot of stuff with Johnny Cake too. But does she? Mm-hmm. Oh. She loves making the dough. I was over there the other day. She didn't do any Johnny Cake stuff. I'm gonna tell her. <laughs> Jada's job is literally like eight minutes from my sister's house. Mm-hmm. If there weren't so many hills, I could probably walk it. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> so before we went there, I was like. Man, I'll walk to my aunt's house, whatever. It's only nine minutes. That's nine minutes by driving. By driving. By driving. Mm-hmm. And it's not too far, but it's far enough. But if we're on flat surfaces, I could do it. I could absolutely do it. But when, when we're going it's up... all hill. I know. Mm-hmm. So me and Jada pull up to the place, and we're like halfway up the hill where she parked. And I'm, we started walking, and I was like... Oh my god, I'm tired. And we walked up halfway up this hill to get no, to the house. I almost started walking up the driveway. <laughs> To the manager. Me, me and Jada stopped in the driveway to catch our breath so we don't look like fatties and we're going in the house. We really yeah. did that. <laughs> but Daddy really did not need to catch his breath. That is really good that, with stamina. That is really mm-hmm. good. That's love. You don't, Daddy's like, what, 60 something? You can, you can tell that. He'll be 62. Daddy could outrun me. Daddy mm-hmm. absolutely could outrun me. Dak could probably beat me in a fight. And he, he jumps at him. All types of Dak stuff. can do that. Mm-hmm. When he pulls himself up using his body and all that. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. Mm hmm. I got strong tree trunk legs though, so if I kick you, you're done. But I don't got a good upper body. Mm. <laughs> I want to talk to Joshua. Let's see the time. I want to talk to Joshua. What do you tell people when they look old for their age? Mm-hmm. And then they tell you, I look old for my age, right? I've had a hard life. What do you say to that? So sorry for you. <laughs> That's, it's, I'm, I'm asking you guys, comment below. Uh, what do you say for that? Because I wasn't telling you you look bad for your age. I didn't say, oh my God, you're 50? Oh my. No, I didn't say that. And then, because the person kept saying, you know, I'm pretty close to you and your husband's age. I'm like, really though? I said, because, you know, Joe looks young for his age. I said, and people tell me I look young for my age. I don't know that. That's true. Because I have a mirror and all I care about is that make the, this is not hanging like a turkey. I do that that's too. All, I don't even care if I, I have, do I don't care if I have crow's feet here. I just don't want this to hang, that's, right? That's where I get this from me every time. It's like, am I getting fat? No. 
That's why I don't want to get too skinny. If you get too skinny, it hangs too. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's scary. So, and I, I could stand to lose a good 50 pounds, y'all, but I'm just saying. Anyways, um, it's like seeing an ugly baby. And people think ugly babies don't exist. They, oh, they totally do. They do exist. They absolutely do. You know? I was an ugly baby, point blank, period. Not me. Absolutely. And I asked my mom, how did you love me? Because you were my baby. But I got cute after a certain age. Because some uh, people change. Ugly babies change and get cuter too and swing back and forth. Pretty did, babies get ugly, you know? Do people believe that I was your kid? How dark I was? When you were born, Josh, you were so super dark. You mm -hmm. look, I mean, like, you know babies are born, they're like reddish or even pinkish and they get their color, right? Yeah. Josh was born like this but darker. Yep, it was dark. And he had a mustache. And hair. Boom. Thick black hair that they put into a mohawk. The nurses did that. And the line was around the bend on my floor for people to come see the little dark baby. And I'm like, what in the heck's going on? There was this lady next to me. She was a black American lady. She was dark skinned. Yeah. Her baby was red, you know, yeah. not like a normal baby. Yeah. She looked up and she goes, is he okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he came so dark. Um, he wasn't sick. He was fine. They loved his mustache my that mustache. he had even back then. And the nurses, oh my God, they loved you. They were like, can we see the baby? Can we bring someone to see the baby? <laughs> I, was, I was very suave and devilish back then. So coming back to the ugly babies. <laughs> when I see an ugly baby, I go like, oh my God, beautiful feet. Be oh, look at his hair. Look at her beautiful I mean, smile. I got five fingers. That's something. <laughs> yeah, you say, you find something to say. But when, when the person hit me with it yesterday, because I said, I'm 53 and Joe 61. He's going to be 62 in October. And the person goes, oh my God, I'm 45. I've had a hard life. <laughs> and then he looked at me and I'm like, I, uh, I don't know what to tell you, dude. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> That's how I feel. I've, I'm never at a loss for words, Josh, but I was at a loss for words on that one. Hmm. What do you guys do? Oh, careful with your words here. We're time. almost out of time. We're <clears> almost <throat> at 23. Okay, let's stop and start. I want to sing this song so bad that goes with this dinner. Uh, uh, mm, <laughs> so contagious. Jada sings it at the beach. Go check out Jada Julianne at YouTube. Um, I can't put it in the links at Facebook because they frown upon you putting links that lead people out to third party sites. Mm, mm, whatever. But go check out Jada at YouTube. Jada Julianne. And you'll see her sing Jambalaya. And she does a phenomenal job with it. She does this little Brenda Lee cry in it. That I just, I wait for it, I anticipate, I'm like, oh my god, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Jada's got those accents and songs. Yeah, Jada has a British accent when she sings. It's so amazing that Jada's working with British people because she loves the British culture. I mean, this is one of those things where um, she really manifested this into her life. Right, Josh? She really manifested this into her life because she knew what type of people she wanted to work with and she got exactly what she wanted. Mm hmm You want more? I just want a sausage. You better stop stealing all the sausage out of I this thing. I just want one. I just want one. You gotta leave some for Joe and Jada. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is good. This was good. And mm. I think I ate like a cup. If I were to eyeball that, I you ate like a cup and a half because you had some first and then more. Yeah, you don't want to eat too much rice because it's high in sugar, right? Or, or destroys your stomach like when we went to go eat all-you-can-eat sushi. And I thought, being a genius, I was, I can eat 10 rolls. Human body can't eat 10 rolls. Don't ever do it. It's impossible. So what did you do? <laughs> tell the people what you did. Did we tell this story? I don't know. I think mm. we did. But whatever. Jada's friend had a, had a, had a, had a man bag. Mm -hmm. A man bag. Hey, I wish I had he one. He had a now. satchel. He had a satchel. Mm -hmm. But I know. I know. So it's one of those places where if you have anything left over, you got to pay for it. Mm -hmm. You have money to pay for extra rolls. Because we're greedy. Yeah, we're doing all you can eat. It was all you can eat. And I never get sushi. So I was like, I'm getting my money's worth. I'm eating all 10 rolls. Rolls. Mm -hmm. Can't do it. Can't do it. And, mm -hmm. uh, so I rolled them in. Uh, took some tissue paper. So it wouldn't mess up his bag. I put them in Lucy's man ba, bag. Ba, ba. <laughs> <laughs> and no. And then a the guy who was there with me, being <laughs> stupid as me, like, yeah, we're gonna eat all ten rolls. We're in this together. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. He he was tapping out too. And so he was like, but mine's in there too. So we're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Note to self, when you go to the sushi all-you-can-eat place, only get what you think you can eat. I could, well, put, I could put down three well, and still be fine, but only I get what you four. know you can eat. Yeah. Joshua got what he thought he could eat yeah. and it was too much. I could put down three and I'm fine and I can eat four, but after that, that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm tapped out. Like one time we went to the all-you-can-eat place with the lobster tail at the um, Indian casino. Oh my lord, that it went for like 
ate lobster tails. After that, he wanted to die. He came home, his stomach was so big. <laughs> He had but to drink so much water. That's how we humans are, though. We don't have to worry about uh, money or limiting ourselves. We're gonna, we're gonna be gluttons. We're gonna be glut pigs. We have to, because <laughs> it's something you never get in life. You're like, oh my god, I get all these lobster tails and I don't have to pay a million dollars? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then you regret it immediately and then you humble yourself and you come back down to reality. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I think this was amazing. I'm glad that we decided to do this as a mukbang. We're gonna do a pasta tomorrow for a show. You guys won't see it tomorrow, of course. Yeah. And um, maybe we'll do a mukbang from that too. It's pasta, so there's probably going to be a lot of it. Yeah. So we could probably pull up a mukbang with that. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that. I so. love that's definitely a Joshua and Mom show because Dad does not like pasta. Not Joe would go, do good with this rice, but I know I know he's going to eat some of his stewed chicken with it because he would want more meat. But I have a lot of meat in this, you know. I'm full right it's now. Fine. So yeah, I'm it's good. good. Okay, guys. So uh, I love doing the mukbangs because it gives us an opportunity to just chit chat with you guys, and also to. Um, like give you guys updates not just chit chat but updates so the update is i lost my mojo but i'm getting it back slowly oh oh mm -hmm. you guys know what i want to do mm -hmm. i want to go somewhere when we're, when we're more rich mm -hmm. with, a, with a waiter or a waitress and if they're really nice to us and do really good service i want to drop like a k on them oh my goodness just like a fat k oh i want to do that but yeah i want to drop just a fat k on them and just be like that's you don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Don't drop any of it in the bucket. That's for you. Don't split it. That's for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. And go back to the beach. Yes. And drop that big bunny in people's bucket. I don't. Jenna sure. took some of her tips yesterday, and not like she made a whole ton of tips, but she said, "I'm gonna go sow seeds." And she went to five different performances and gave like a dollar. Yeah. The magician got two dollars. It's, it's gonna get to the point where Jada goes to the beach and it's gonna be swarmed for a little Jada concert. Let me tell you really quickly what the magician did. He took two $20 bills from two... From two plants in the audience. I know they're a part of his team, okay? The plants, I know. And the money disappeared for the longest time. And when he found it at the end of his whole act, he cut this orange open that he had on the ground. He did not get near that orange. So how did those two $20 bills get in there? Because there's no true magic. No orange so pre-cut. He planted that in there already. <coughs> their names are on it already. And where did their money go? Probably slide a hand up his sleeves. Mm -hmm. And when he cut it open and did this... The money was in there. But it's like, ooh, mm. ah. I'm going to give him his props, though. Jerry gave him two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, my goodness. So that's why I don't like to watch magicians because I waste my time watching what they're doing to see where the thing went. So, like, every time he did the balls, I got the balls correct. How many balls under the cup? Mm -hmm. I knew because I watched. I did not move my eye off of that cup. I did not. Okay, three. <laughs> and he goes, you've seen my show before. I'm like, no, I know magicians. <laughs> Yeah, you kill the whimsy. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. I hope you See enjoyed you next this one. Bid you. Yes. Yeah. yeah, this is a good one. I, there, I love there, the food. There may or may not be a pasta one in the future. It's probably going to be in the future because I love pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. If you're seeing me on Facebook, don't forget to follow and like the page and put me in your watch so that you can know when I upload another video. And if you're seeing me on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Bye now.